Hi there everyone, welcome back. My name is Chris and uh, today we've got another little look over the construction wise on something else from the Arcteryx Leaf uh, line of apparel. It's that, that's the uh, law enforcement and armed forces uh, branch of the Arcteryx uh, mountaineering sort of adventure sports uh, clothing brand. This is the Naga hoodie, uh, this one's in the, the Wolf Grey. Quite a few of you, if you're watching this, you've probably seen uh, certain high-profile guys wearing these uh, over the years. They're pretty popular with uh, guys who know what they're doing. Um, just, piece, <clears throat> just picked this up recently, so this is just going to be a quick initial overview, as it were. I haven't tested it out yet. I will report back later on to see how it does, but like I say, I'm just going to look at how it's put together. Now, sort of a... Bit of a multi-use item, you could certainly use this as like a mid-layer. It's very thickly insulated. Um, you can see the Polartec label here, the, the technology it uses. Um, it's, I would certainly say this is going to be an item to certainly retain heat. Although, if you read the, the product description on the, the, the Polartec material uh, sort of hanger tag here, it's designed, or so the manufacturers claim it should, maintain heat and yet also pick up sweat, distribute it and help it evaporate so to keep you warm and dry which is the main thing is as soon as you start getting wet obviously then you start losing that heat. Uh, it's extremely stretchy the fabric, it's a combination of polyester, nylon and elastane on the main torso and on the sleeves. Um, it's incredibly, you've got a lot of stretch in all directions on this stuff. Uh, so you're going to maintain good uh, maneuverability. Um, it's going to—it's not going to pinch and bunch on you as you, you move around and get in different positions. Simple. I'd say it's about you've got a quarter up a zip, so it's, it's an over-the-head thing. Nice quality. It's quite thin. Um, doesn't have a sort of a baffle flap on the inside, but I think with the thickness of the insulation it should be all good in that respect. You can see the, that nice sort of fleece material fabric on the inside of there and it is, it is extremely comfortable I have to say. It is very very warm, very soft and just yeah, really comfortable to wear. It's very very nice stuff as you would expect for the price. Simple, uh, un undoable knot that's looped through the actual uh, metal zip up all there. You can always actually cut off the metal pieces, not really needed. You could realistically just root this bit of cord straight through the, the core zip hardware that's on the jacket. But it's there, it's a good size. It'll be enough that if your hands are thickly gloved and or cold, uh, you'll be able to get at it. Small pocket. Uh, this isn't really, I would say, not so much designed as an outer layer, so you don't have pockets in the conventional sort of lower abdomen area down here, but you do have one up on this little chest area. I'm not really sure what you want to store up there personally, um, but it's big enough uh, and it seems fairly water resistant, so you know, certainly a range of small to medium items. Uh, you can fit in there, but you're going to want to watch out for what you're actually putting there because depending if you've got gear, chest rigs, plate carriers, uh, backpack straps going over across that area of your, your upper torso, you're not going to want anything too hard uh, and sort of angular in that pocket. I think that could dig in and cause you issues. But it's there for some storage should you need it. On the back, you can see the hood is quite small. If you've got a big fat melon head like me, uh, it's probably not going to go on you, but it's got a good amount of insulation in there as well. Not as insulated as the main body of it, but it's quite nice and thin and low profile. Made up of quite a lot of different panels there. Again, this is, as with all their items, they, they make uh, all their jackets and trousers and everything out of a lot of separate pieces of fabric, which adds to the manufacturing cost and time and complexity but it makes it a better form fitting item. Uh, same deal with this hood. Nicely uh, fabric taped along the edges and you've got all these flat lock seams in the hood there and all throughout the entire garment so you're not going to have seam digging in um, issues depending on what gear you've got at the top of this. The sleeves are slightly different material, pretty much the same makeup bit, uh, without the nylon content as the, the main piece, but they've got the same nice thick insulation on the insides. 
the cuffs have thumb holes on them, so you'd be able to do that with them, uh, and a sort of a nice elasticated edge to the cuff itself, so you don't really need adjusters, but then they're low profile, they'll you know prevent wind and snow and uh, dirt and crap getting up your arms to quite a good extent, uh, just with that elasticated section there. To be honest guys, there's not much more to it than that. Obviously price-wise, uh, in the UK retail price is far from cheap, very expensive um, items, but keep keep an eye on eBay, especially in the larger sizes. These do come up every now and again, lots of Arcteric Leaf stuff comes up. Definitely add that to your watched items uh, thing on eBay. That system will bring this sort of stuff up for you if you want it. What you're getting with the, with the Leaf stuff is a highly articulated, very, very well fitted a uh, piece of clothing um, with very good qualities as long as you um, make sure to buy it for the correct usage uh, so this isn't a, like a super depth thermal like minus temperatures item and you don't want to wear it in the summer um, for really high exertion but for cooler climbs where you're, you're getting some exertion so you want, you want warmth but you still want sweat to get away from your body that's where this sort of kit comes in and it will do a good job for you. It's not for everyone. Um, as with pretty much any product, you sort of, you know, you've got the basic cheap stuff that will do an all right job and then you, you pay a bit more and you can get quite a big, uh, you know, gain in features and quality and then you have to pay more and more and more for smaller increments. You know, it's, that, it's certainly that way with firearms, stuff like barrels, I'm sure any of you in that sort of area will know what I mean. You know, the, the sort of the curve goes up at quite a steep angle um, price-wise for those smaller gains. So yeah, this isn't something for everyone. You know, I got lucky. I found it for quite a lot less than the retail price. Would I pay retail price? I'm not sure. Once I've used it some more, I'll find out whether, uh, <laughs> whether it's perhaps worth those prices. So there, there you have it guys, um, the, the Naga hoodie is available, a couple of UK gear retailers, keep your eyes on eBay, um, I'll report back on it later down the line. Uh, thank you for watching everyone, thanks for all the, the thumbs up and shares and all the subscribes and stuff like that. Uh, daily updates, more gear stuff on the Facebook page and Twitter, links in the description box. Uh, thank you again guys, see you next time.